Hey everyone, my name is Nayo olsen Style, and today I'm going to be talking about how to use Google Sheets to analyze your Amazon ad reports and really quickly combine duplicate search term data. So in this video, what I'll cover is the search term report. You know, where do you find it? How do you use it? What is it for? We'll also go over some of the differences between the filter view versus pivot tables in Google Sheets. And of course, I'll go through a full walkthrough and full recap of how to get started and set up and start using pivot tables as soon as you finish this video. So let's get started with the search term report. Okay, so if you're already deep into Amazon PPC, you should be living, breathing and dying for the search term report. Okay, you should be obsessed with it. And the reason being is that this is one of the most insightful reports that you can download directly from the Amazon Advertising Console. Um, and it'll give you a great macro and micro view into your Amazon advertising performance. So it's just overall an extremely comprehensive report to figure out where your results are coming from, how you can expand, and also how you can optimize. First up, it's really important to clarify the differences between a keyword and a search term because you can also download a keyword report from Amazon. So keywords are the relevant words or phrases that you are bidding on, okay? These are the keywords that are in your campaigns. They're either broad, phrase, or exact match. And a search term is the direct search coming from your Amazon shoppers who are clicking on your ads, okay? That means it's gonna include misspellings, it's going to include, you know, super specific, weird searches like a gift for my 89 year old grandma who really enjoys walking and she has three dogs. OK, you'll see that as well because they're directly coming from shoppers. So the search term report is so valuable because it has a list of all of those search terms and which keywords triggered them, which resulted in at least one ad click. Okay, and you can download this for a custom date range up to the last 65 days, and it is currently available for sponsored products, sponsored brand, and sponsored brand video ad types. Okay, so no sponsored display search and reports are available right now in 2021. Cool, so it is really easy to find the search term reports. Uh, it is the exact same for Seller Central and the Advertising Console for vendors. Okay, you're gonna go to the left-hand side, uh, click on the reports tab. It'll take you to the screen where you will click the big yellow button that says create reports, uh, and then it'll bring you to a configuration page. You will then click on one of the top three campaign types, uh, click on the most important part, this is a report type, search term and then whichever report period you like okay and then back to basics you know you'll go into a fresh google sheets document go file import and then put in the new search term report okay, so when you've done that it should look a little bit like this okay here's something i prepared earlier now this is a very real search term report the data is all real i've just edited and changed the customer search terms and of course campaign names and things um but it will look like this okay and it will have a lot a lot of rows of data. Um, now, very often, in, in order to kind of quickly organize a search term report, you'll often go into the filter function. And that's where you'll create a filter. And then, of course, based on whichever metric you'd like to see, you will use the sort functions of A to Z and Z to A, or A to Z, Z to A. Okay. And A being the smallest, lowest number. Okay. So if we want to see uh, the search terms um, kind of displayed by the highest amount of sales, we will go like this. Now, what can happen here is that you look up the top and you say that this search term Nike uh, brought in $4,000 in ad sales. Now that's all well and good, but the thing is, is that you'll see Nike comes up again here, uh, it comes up again here. And so that's where you get those kind of duplicates coming into your search term data. The reason why this happens is because it will essentially be triggered by different keywords, different match types, and different campaigns. So if we have exact match Nike here and exact match Nike here, they would essentially be coming from different campaigns. So campaign A and campaign C, they can both have the exact same keywords in there and they can both be bringing in sales via that search term. So we wanna be able to say that the customer search term Nike brought in X amount of sales and know that that is counting for all of the different campaigns. And so that is where the pivot table will be very essential to getting that done very, very quickly. So this is what I prepared earlier. This is what it will look like in the pivot table. You'll see that you've got the customer search terms and you've got all the combined data that you want. Okay, so let me show you how to set this up. It is very, very simple. So you're gonna to go to your search and report 
click on the data drop down menu and click on pivot table and then create. Then you'll come to this page where it'll look a bit empty and a bit scary, uh, but you'll just focus on these three things, okay? Rows, values, and filters. Now, rows are the most important because you will need to add in the customer search term. So that means that all of the black Nike shoes search terms are now all gonna be into that one row of data. Then what you'll do is move your video and you'll click on not columns, but values. Okay, so values is what adds up all the metrics you want. Um, so let's say we wanna see ad traffic, so we'll click on impressions. Uh, we definitely wanna see clicks. We wanna see sales. We wanna see spend. Um, if you want to add in other things such as cost per click, such as ACOS, what you'll see is, huh, a $1,000 cost per click is quite a lot. A 2000 plus a cost is quite a lot. That's because you'll see they're summarized by some. Okay, so with these data points that are more based on an average, you'll want to change that to average. Okay, otherwise you can go through and do the manual calculations. So then we're going to go to filters. Now, filters are reasonably optional. You know, you don't have to use filters by any means, but this means you can look at the data for whatever you want because. More likely than not, you're going to have a lot more rows of customer search terms. So let's say that you just want to see all your branded terms come up. This will be a way that you would use a filter for the customer search term. All right, so you would clear it all and type in only your branded search term, um, and then it will show you only those search terms. Now, the other part of that is that you'll often want to kind of see the sales or kind of visualize everything in an order. Uh, that's when you have to scroll back up and go back to rows and then you put in the order here and the most common of course what you do is descending based on sales so that's when you get the top sales right at the top and then descending down and the reason why I say that is because if you try to put on a filter uh, it is going to kind of constantly revert back You'll see like that. Cool. And so that is how you use and start setting up pivot tables in Google Sheets. Um, now, of course, the pivot table can get infinitely more complex and you can play around with a lot of different filters and values and things like that. Uh, but we just want to kind of get started, give you a really nice foundation so that you can eventually start to learn um, some of the more complex aspects of pivot tables. But really quickly, I'll go through all of the key steps. So if you ever want to kind of revise what you had to do to get this started, you can come back to this title screen here. Step one is to click on the data drop down menu, select pivot table and then create. Then step two, go to the rows and then customer search term. Step three, click on the values, okay, and add in any data points you want to be combined, whether that's traffic, impressions, cost per click, whatever, but really pay attention to sum versus average. Then step four, you'll choose your preferred order and you'll do that by going back up to this rows um, feature here. And step five, which is an optional kind of step, uh, you can filter the data based on whatever you want. So if you want to see it for a custom search terms, only branded search terms, a competitor name, or if you just want to see the search terms that have over 10 clicks, whatever it is, uh, that is where you will find that in the filter. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Better AMS YouTube channel, check out our blog, and of course, find me on LinkedIn. If you guys have any questions in the meantime about how to use pivot tables or how you're going with this kind of analysis on your search term reports, don't forget to leave it down in the comments below. Thanks everyone.